Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm back with the uh, final part of our S-Log and the F3 series. Uh, in the last part of the series, we went over how to create 1D lookup tables that we could load into the camera, and now we're going to talk about actually creating uh, 3D lookup tables uh, to use uh, externally with a box or into post-production. So the difference being between 3D and 1D really uh, for application purposes is that we can uh, really adjust uh, saturation values in the 3D light and also sort of color balance is a little easier. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, the idea here is we're going to use an uh, external device and more hardware to uh, apply a 3D lookup table uh, and to create one even. Uh, there's a lot of boxes out there in the world, uh, True Light and DP Lights and other really great applications on the highest end. Uh, I'm going to use though the uh, a simple, uh, relatively inexpensive box called the uh, HD Link Pro uh, from Blackmagic. Uh, and how this works is basically I take a feed out of the camera, the F3 is feeding S-Log out over SDI into the box and then out of the box comes a corrected signal. Uh, the, the, the box is just controlled via USB uh, and it does all the correction internally, so in comes uh, SDI and out goes the corrected image. I can also bake the settings in uh, from the computer into it, so it just sort of works as a standalone box without a computer involved. So HDLink is a pretty cool box. I have some special software to control that box, though, and I'll show you that in a minute. So how we're going to create these three lookup tables is uh, using software. But I want to, but I want to start the uh, the uh, creation process of a three D three lookup table uh, using those same curves that we made in the last uh, in the last section of the video. Uh, basically, those uh, Sony generated uh, S log to video curves are uh, a good starting spot for me uh, because they do sort of take it from S log into sort of a more video gamma space. Uh, and that's relatively, it's considered relatively correct, so we're going to start there. Uh, and then we'll uh, you, you apply that uh, with some other adjustments, and I'll give you all these lookup tables so you can uh, try them yourself. Uh, all right, so again, my setup is uh, F3 feeding out to the HD link, and the signal out of that uh, is going into an I.O. box connected my, to my computer. Uh, I, you can just imagine my computer as the monitor, just using that, uh, using Scopebox uh, program here to uh, see the incoming signal so it can all, all in one place. So that's my configuration. Let's go to my computer side here uh, and we will uh, see uh, what's going on. Here's Scopebox and I have uh, S-Log uh, coming into my computer. Uh, and you can see my scopes here so it's relatively flat. I have an image right here uh, in front of me, just uh, this, this DSC Labs chart. Uh, and then I have a program here called Link Color which is working with my HD Link Pro box. Link Color is crea was created by a uh, uh, DIT here locally named Abby Levine. He lives in New York and he wrote this software to really work the way that he likes to work with uh, LUT creation. So it's a really cool application. Uh, you should check it out. I'll put a link to that on the website as well. Uh, so the way Link Color works is it can connect to my Link Color box, my HD Link box, and control it. Uh, and you can see in here I have things like pedestal, gamma, gain, I have uh, which is like lift, gamma, gain, color correction, saturation control, green magenta shifts, uh, uh, blue, uh, blue, uh, red shifts for Kelvin, uh, etc. And also has the ability to load in a D log LUT. Here I'm actually going to do this first. Hit load and select from. I have generated tons of different D log LUTs from those curves that I created last time. So I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this S log uh, video 325 gray point 40, which is basically just a sort of a normal LUT that we it's normal look of table, uh, normal uh, contrast adjustment. Uh, that I might like to use. So I'll go ahead and select that and now it's going to load it into this D-Log section here. It was already loaded beforehand because I did it once before. I'm going to go ahead and hit the D-Log button and you can see right away my HD link's responding and I'm getting that contrast change. The same sort of contrast change that I saw in the camera in the last section. So I'll turn that on first as a starting spot. Now beyond that I can do things like uh, pedestal, crushing the lower end of the curve, uh, gamma for the midtones and some gain for highlight control, make it a little brighter. And then I might keep adjusting that down and up until I feel good about the settings here uh, and I like the way they look. Uh, I can also do th simple things like saturation increases, right? Very nice. Uh, this is a good option. Uh, and I get something looking a little bit more normal. Again, this feed is a little flat coming in any this, this, this image is not light lit up in any way. The feed coming in is pretty just uh, sho shoved into place here. But you see I made a correction. If I hit the bypass local sliders, uh, you can see the, the difference. If I hit bypass all together, you see really the difference in the feet. Uh, additionally, in Link Color, I have the ability to control 
uh, matrix. Now, uh, Abby uh, has created, uh, use the same math as used in cameras here uh, to, uh, to adjust matrix. So if I turn this on, you can see I can uh, make adjustments uh, uh, in different ways. So you see as I, choose, I reset, I have actually preloaded some settings here, uh, a normal, a AB normal AB and JR video uh, with different settings, different applications that I've generated. Uh, and it can load up the, those matrix controls. These are the same values you would see in a camera, like I said. So very cool option there as well. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at JR45 video and just desaturate a little bit on my feed. And let's say this is the lot that I like to use. Now, uh, again, this is just sort of rough. I've actually made the lookup tables uh, to match my uh, settings that I have for in the camera, the JR45 video and the AB normal. They're available uh, as well. I'll put them on the website so you can see those. Uh, from here, I can choose to export uh, uh, different things out of Link Color. So I'll go to Preferences here, and it has the ability to output files in the HD Link Pro setting. This is the cube file that the HD Link Pro box itself will take and work as a standalone application. This is a nice option. Again, if you just want to load a lo lookup table into this box and have it standalone, we can generate it here and load it back into the box with its own software. It's a cool thing. Pandora 3D Light, which is, works well with the color and other applications. True Light, Iridos. Uh, CDL, and finally the link color settings itself. So that's what it's going to export when I do. And I can just go to File, Export, and send it out. So uh, just by the way, uh, I've already done this before, so I'll use in the next step, I'll just use the ones I've already generated. This box, this software can control up to six of these boxes attached at once. So for a multi-camera job, it has a huge amount of application. Uh, this is a great tool. OK, so uh, let's say I've done this already. I've loaded my lookup table. You can, you can see the general idea of what I could do. I hit and bypass there uh, uh, on this controller. But let's go look in, in Final Cut and try to apply the LUT in a very simple type of way. Now, again, the lookup tables that I created should work in a, uh, a variety of applications, software applications out there. Uh, but everything, every program takes its own type of uh, cube of th a 3D lookup. Uh, so, uh, but just as an example, I'll use Final Cut and a really simple free program from Magic Bullet called LUT Buddy. Here it is on my effects window. I'll apply it there. This is my uh, this is a clip shot in S-Log here, uh, just a real simple clip. Uh, options, I'll get an, on the at LUT Buddy window, we'll bring up an import window, hit import LUT, and I have my JR45 video with matrix, and I'll choose that MGA, the Pandora file, open it up, and voila, lookup table is applied. On, off, on, off. You see the effect there on the China ball. I do lose, lose information, but my midtones get brighter, uh, my colors are more saturated, etc. So, uh, you know, I, I try to uh, make these lookup tables in a variety of ways. Uh, if you look at my um, my files here, as you'll see, I have just the I have just the uh, D log curves, which is, you can use separately in a whole variety of formats. Just, these are just stri strictly just converting from S log to video. Uh, no co no color correction applied per se. Um, I have the JAR files with matrix and no matrix and 3D LUTs. I have two CDLs, which can be applied on top of D-log curves. So they have, they're just simply a CDL separated from uh, the D-log curves. And then I have the AB normal look, again, matched to the picture profiles I have in the camera with matrix and no matrix. So you can play with those as well. So the idea here is that these are just uh, starting points for your uh, color grading process, or maybe just for dailies creation. Uh, the intention is not that we just apply these looks uh, and finish our project that way. Uh, certainly, uh, full color grading uh, step is needed uh, to get the most out of S-Log. Uh, and there's a lot of application there with S-Log, just a lot of range to play with. So uh, hopefully, these can be helpful to you. You can use them on set. You can use them for dailies and other applications. Uh, but just knowing that a full grading suite, uh, a full grading step is important. So uh, thanks for watching so much. Uh, this has been a great educational series for myself and I hope for all of you. Uh, I really appreciate all the uh, good comments. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.